I've been fortunate enough to own a range of high performance Japanese cars from Nissan Skylines to Evos to Subarus to Hondas and I wanted to build something different this time, something that's not been done before or something very rare over in, in Europe. And I decided to build the Celica. It has a Beams 3 SGE engine from an Alteza with the uh, six-speed gearbox. And for me, it is just beautiful. The lines of this car, the styling, the look, the size, the power, uh, there's just nothing like it. You can have the latest Skyline, the latest Toyota, but it just doesn't have the, the, the imagination that's gone into something like this. I was fortunate enough to have a Celica GT, the RA28, which is a two litre car, and I had one of those maybe four or five years ago. And again, it was just so cool. Uh, I sold that and it left a gap. <laughs> I wanted to fill, I wanted to buy something else. And this time I thought we'll build our own car. The choices were a 240Z uh, or the Celica. And the 240s are so hard to get hold of, being so old, they're corroded and so on. And when this TA27 came up for sale, it looked just ready for, for a rebuild, so we picked it up in Japan. Well, I think we have a reputation at Jap Performance Parts of building unusual cars. You've seen the Subaru Drift car with a 34 GTR, the modified Evo 10, and I think if we just restore this the Celica, it wouldn't have been up to our expectations, let's say. So I wanted to build a car, and it, as with everything, has to have a different engine. But I wasn't going to put an SR20 or an RB or anything like that, or a 1J. It had to remain true to being Toyota, and a four-cylinder is what the car was designed for. That's why I went with the Alteza. I wanted to build the car principally like how it would have come out of the factory as uh, Toyota supplied but with the modifications such as the, the, the large spoiler at the back and the front lip but then going into a bit more of the Japanese styling with the crazy oil cool and the pipe work. Aesthetically we've got the Honda S2000 seats to modernise the interior but underneath the skin of the car is really where the, the, the hard work's gone in. It runs with a 210 horsepower normally aspirated four-cylinder engine with a six-speed transmission, all custom fit, and at the same time a modern wiring loom. It has the clocks from a Toyota Supra Mark IV, but as I say, it all comes together as an authentic looking car. The complete project's taken a long time. It's probably the best part of a year. It's not as simple as putting an engine in, plugging in the ECU, and off you go. Uh, the actual construction, the tunnel was modified and we removed the tunnel from the Altez and welded that back into the, into the, silica, sh into the silica shell. Um, custom mounts were made, prop shaft, all the obvious stuff. It's the electronics that uh, really took the time. Silica lights, fittings, aerials, horns, even the original radios that they're working. So uh, the car still is authentic from the outside and everything works as it did in the original car. This car is not about racing. This car is not about power, performance. It's purely about being cool. It's one of those things, it's taken, I think, more time and effort than the race car to making it the way it is. I'd like to think I'll be keeping it for a long time, um, maybe until the next toy comes along. I'm Sajid Mughal and I've built this Beams-powered Salika GT.